What's up, Flex fam? Cam here with Mr. Blake Evans. Guys, there is, I mean, this is an illustrious man here. Not only is he father, okay, first responder, firefighter, but he's also a full-time man dime. You, I mean, you don't find people like this. Guys, <laughs> just walking the planet all the time. Blake, appreciate you taking time to sit down with us, brother. Yeah, man. Absolutely. So what we're going to talk about today, guys, is, um, you know, what athletic, you know, style training is, what balance fitness is all about. Uh, my dude, Blake, uh, is a hard worker. He has a very demanding lifestyle. He's always doing things on the go of the job, and his job as a firefighter demands a active lifestyle, and what he's on the call, he has to, you know, you know, ask the most of his body, and the way that we train here, guys, doing cardiovascular training, doing mobility, doing strength training, and just getting weird and challenging ourselves. And Blake, I want to take some time to talk about uh, what do you think the benefit is or, or what changes have you seen in, in your fitness and your lifestyle and, and really what helping you and your, your career as a firefighter from training at like an athlete? Uh, before I came here, uh, every time we come out of a stroke fire, we get our vitals taken. Um, a year and a half ago, they actually took me off of fire because my blood pressure was too high. Blood pressure was 190 over 100, actually. So they took me off the truck and let everything reset. And I finally was reevaluated and I was able to go back to work. But uh, we just had a structure fire last week. They took my vitals after I come out of uh, the uh, working structure fire. And my blood pressure went from 190 over 100 to after I started Flex Effect was 118 over 68. Wow. Gorgeous. I mean, and guys, just a general recommendation uh, for health and wellness or a good uh, baseline for size stock or upper and down stock, lower blood pressure is 120 over 80. This man's under that. And what that ultimately is looking at when we're talking about blood pressure, guys, uh, just like if you have a smart watch that you're getting pretty popular or something that you have to monitor heart rate is pulmonary function, right? It's, it's cardiovascular health. How well can we breathe? How much oxygen can we cycle in and out of our body as we're doing not only day-to-day tasks, when you have a job like Blake does, his day-to-day task is pretty dang demanding, uh, but also when we're training and the importance of training to add those different pieces in. And Blake, you know, maybe you can give us some insight too, you know, coming from a more you know standard style of training into athletic splits where we're, we're getting weird, we're, we're doing a lot of different pieces and we're kind of meshing some things together, you know, with a plan. What, what do you think has been the difference of playing? What's been like the feels going through that change? I'm going to tell you I'm the biggest hypocrite when it comes to this style of working out because from high school until I started here, it was very low intensity training, heavy weight, low intensity, and I could tell a big difference. I mean, back then when I come out of fire, my rest and heart rate was probably 160, 170, which is very, very high. Right, and the other right. night I come out, it was 79, and that's after breathing air. Yeah. And all my guys, uh, we look at air packs and kind of I write down our air consumption. Our air packs are 4,500 PSI. Right. And majority, I say 80% of the guys were at 1,000 PSI. And we went and looked at mine, and I was still at 3,500 PSI. Still clocking, baby. Yeah, I mean, I. I mean, it speaks for itself. And that's a, that's a cool thing, too, man, talking about that. Because, guys, what we're looking at, too, if, if you know, this man down is walking around breathing in, he's, he's out pushing his body, he's able to consume less oxygen. His body's demand metabolically to, you know, consume and use energy and have that oxygen cycle is, is less than someone of a less, you know, detrained state. So he can go in and, and do that quality of work elevated that demand and utilize oxygen more efficiently and his body is not requiring the same amount of oxygen consumption. So so now you're you man, you're just building the efficient machine. Yeah. And I think especially during a career to where, you know, if you go into a fire call and we're we're, we're in on a tank and something happens, you're going you might get in a situation where every second counts, I can imagine, it's a pretty dang big benefit to know that, hey, my heart rate and my oxygen consumption is at a level now where I'm in control. Yeah, your body does, it recovers so much faster after doing the high intensity training versus the low impact training. I, I really like this style, this style of training, but now after seeing my vital signs, it, it, I won't ever go back to the low intensity bodybuilding style. And maybe Blake too, we're talking about, I remember, you know, post that, that call when you got up, you got the oxygen tank. Can you tell kind of too how you felt versus, you know, previous and then maybe seeing some of your other firefighters you know, in, in the line of duty, how they were looking after being in that car wearing that equipment. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Before I started the uh, flex effect, my recovery time, I mean, there, it, it would take pretty much the whole call to recover. 
and get back to the station. And after clean up, you're still exhausted. Five, ten minutes after I come out, I, we're ready to go back again. I mean, so now, not only are you able to recover quicker, but you, you know you feel like your your quality of work and your ability to do your job is, has been you know high as well. Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. Very cool. And I think, guys, that's what it takes. Is you know, I mean, we, we talk about you know being comfortable, being uncomfortable. This man puts his life on the line on the daily, and that's pretty darn uncomfortable. But you know, what a benefit now that not only can Blake be a leader on the job site by setting an example, he also is being a leader in the community by by helping people understand and see the need for why it's important to do the things that we may not wake up in the morning hungry to do. But if we can make it a part of the lifestyle, just like you have as a first responder to put yourself in a comfortable situation and challenge yourself. If, if we can do that with our fitness, if we can do that with our mindset, man, dude, the sky's the limit. Yeah, I mean, now I'm over to health and wellness on a community that we're doing. So, you know, practice what you preach. That's so, it. I mean, I can't tell somebody to get fit if I'm not fit. Dude. So, now I'm preaching to my guys, and we go to the gym every day now. So, dude, that's that's what it's all about, man. Set the example, uh, man down, and and a leader in the community with uh, showing people what it takes to get a couple, man. And uh, you guys know what it is: get weird, be fit, and uh, keep flexing. Throw it on Blake. A good guy. <laughs>